Hello there, everybody. It's Jesse, and this, this is my happy place. Ace Combat 5 is among my favorite games of all time. And those of you who saw me play Ace Combat 7 know that a lot of that game relates to this one. And I promised I would play it, and that is exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, I forgot they had the trailer in the title screen. That's right. Oh, you should definitely watch this. Who do you think's covering up the battle? Listen, the only thing across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktabanian territory. But haven't we been allies with the Yukes since the war 15 years ago? Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die soon. You're flying number two on my wing. Gotta keep an eye on you or who knows what you'll get yourself into. Probably hating this more than anybody. He used to have a lady friend over in Yuktabania. Captain! Warning! Warning! War Dog Squadron, return to base immediately! What happened? Yuktobania just declared war. Edge, you lead the formation. No, Blaze is leading. I'll protect at 6 o'clock. And I'm not gonna lose another flight lead. Quit screwing around. This is war. The enemy's all over and they're gonna eat you alive. Come on, start up! Come on, come on, come on, come on! This is Grim. I'm taking off. Be careful, Grim. I'm coming. The goal of this operation is simple. To invade and occupy the Yuktabanian mainland. What are we gonna do, kid? I'll follow you. If any ships start calling him capitalistic missiles, I'm coming. Like this enemy came straight out of the demon legends. That can't. It can't be. I knew a little about that famous legend, too. Look at that wreckage. I'm amazed they're still making them like this. They? Who's this they you're referring to? Rosgris, the demon from the world of fairy tales. Captain, do you believe in the demon of Rosgris? The demon from the North Sea. I've never seen a stupid fairy tale come true like this. It appears you're up against I'm just gonna, Rosgris itself. Just gonna end this right now. <laughs> There's a song that plays right there that will definitely be copyright striked. But just imagine it's like, can you take it all away? It's just puddle of mud. Anyway, that should give you a general gist of what to expect. This game has many twists, many turns. There's things in here that you're like, wait a minute, what? I love this game. I, it, it's so good. The cast, this game came out right around the time I was really into Cowboy Bebop. This game is 99% the cast of Cowboy Bebop, the, the, the dub version. All of voice actor royalty is in this thing. The guy who's sort of the reporter is, I think, the first role Matt Mercer ever had in anything. It's crazy. This game is crazy. And um, I do have some questions about what it's going to turn out to look like, though visually because this clearly is the ps2 game ported to ps4 but since i haven't played this yet i have no clue what it's actually going to look like like this screen clearly is a 4x3 clipped on the sides but i have it set at 16x9 i guess because they didn't update the trailer graphically that maybe that's why i'm a little confused but also this screen we'll find out we'll find out together anyway graphic stuff aside this is like a 15 year old game I'm really excited to share this with you. This game has meant so much to me. Let's just get started. 15 years ago, there was a war. Well, wars broken out here plenty of times before. They've tried to invade the Southlands through the Northern Valley time and time again. Luck was never on their side though, and their victories didn't last long. They didn't realize that times had changed. Facing one defeat after another, losing territory and watching their nation dwindle, they built up their industrial strength to unprecedented heights and used it to wage one final battle against the world. Yo, I didn't even notice it says Grunder in the top. Wow! That was 15 years ago. They fought ferociously, but were utterly defeated. The Belkins then committed the unthinkable. 
they used nuclear weapons on the Rhone soil. Seeing this tragedy unfold before their own eyes, the victorious countries vowed to throw down their weapons. The world was once again at peace, and thanks to them, it seemed it would last forever. On a distant island, far away from civilization, the protectors of the peace take to the skies. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling all the good vibes. Oh, here we go. Good alert. I was in the sky, trying to get the training team in my viewfinder from the rear seat of the lead plane. My pilot in the front seat was howling at the earth below. Sorry about this. The captain's apology to me seemed misplaced. One instructor had survived the fight but crashed on landing. The other one was killed in action high up in the clouds. It wasn't his fault that the unidentified aircraft fired on us without warning. Nor was it his fault that the low altitude area where he sent his trainees was directly in front of the enemy. Eight people died because the command room had misplaced some zeros. That pilot in the number seven was amazing. Did you see her fight back? I couldn't bear to watch. Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. The only surviving trainee's voice was almost a whisper. Are you sure? You look like you couldn't hurt a fly. First off, for all of you who watched seven and had no idea who Nagase is, here you go. Second off, can you believe that's Matt Mercer's voice? That's the craziest damn thing. It doesn't sound pale, like him at all. But she still managed to smile a bit for the camera. The photo, along with my camera, was confiscated by base security. It was as if our little undeclared war never happened. Also, if you watch 7, I'm pretty sure by now you realize this is a very story-heavy game compared to that one. I came to cover this remote island because I heard that a very unique squadron leader was stationed here. I didn't realize he was this unique, though. This bad-mouthed, good-natured old firebrand could take the greenest of rookies and forge him into a fearsome fighter pilot. Of course, that possibility vanished with the day's encounter. The only crew he had left now were Second Lieutenant Nagase and the few pilots that happened to be on the ground that day. <clears throat> I know you don't like this, but we're short on people. Starting tomorrow, all you nuggets are going to be sitting alert. If we launch, stay glued to me up there. Nagase? Sir. You're flying number two on my way. I love how Chopper's just in the back keep an being eye cool. Who knows what you'll get yourself into. Also, question for longtime fans. Are we supposed to be the dude in the shades? I always figured it was one of those, you can't really see the face, so it has to be the player kind of things. Also, fascinating what they decided to make fit the screen. At ease, people. But don't get too comfortable. Oh, I missed these briefings. It's a grave situation for all of us right now. Let's get this briefing started. Another aircraft of unknown origin has entered Ocean Federation airspace. We have confirmed the target type as a strategic recon plane flying at very high altitude. Despite our repeated warnings, it continued to penetrate our ADIS and was fired upon by Ocean Coastal Defense Force SAMs. We believe one of our SAMs damaged the unknown plane, but did not destroy it. Radar shows that the aircraft is currently losing altitude and is attempting to egress feet wet towards the ocean. Intercept this target and force it to land for identification. 
Do not fire upon this aircraft until further orders are transmitted. All right, yeah. Also, it's an SR-71 Blackbird. Like, come on. Of course it's up to no good. Uh, start to go. Let's, let's start. Let's go. Wow, look at this. It's crazy to think about how much graphically games have changed. When you look at this versus 7, amazing. This is AWACS, call sign Thunderhead. Roger. Bring the target to the ground. Do not fire at the target. Repeat. Do not fire at the target. You got that, Nuggets? Uh, if I've ever called you a Nugget, just roger. know that this is where that's from. Dog 3, roger. Oh my god, look at the difference in cockpits between this and 7. Wow! Yeah, yeah, I was just appreciating how far graphics have come. Looks like you're confident at least. Don't get separated from me. Man, I'm glad you drew the short straw instead of me. Oh, Chopper, you you are the best. Second Lieutenant Alvin H. Davenport. Sip it. You need a nickname too? I respectfully ask to be called Chopper, sir. I'm afraid I may not be able to respond to any other moniker. Yeah, I have played this game a few times. <laughs> that does fit you well. I've got a better name for you, but I'll keep it to myself. Okay? Ah, oh, cut me some slack, man. So like I was saying, this game is all about the character. Your squad mates, the interactions between all of you, way more than seven. They're forbidden to fire until I get permission, understand? Yeah, sure, okay. Good boy. Ew. <laughs> I don't like the way he said that. All right, where's Motormouth Chopper? <laughs> That's your name for me? You got a knack for comic dialogue. You mind sending a surrender request for me? Oh no, please, age before beauty. I'm real shy around strangers, you know. Jeez. Testing, testing. Attention, unidentified aircraft. Set your course for our beacon immediately. Good. Uh, we will direct you to the nearest airfield. Lower your gear if you understand. Guys, guys, I have a feeling they are, uh, not going to reply. And in fact, when you fly a spy plane, you're probably a spy. Yeah, okay. Good boy. Stop that. I'm afraid if I say no and he's like, bad boy, it's even worse. Heads up! They're firing on us! War Dog Squadron, weapon safe. Hold your fire until further orders. Oh, come on! Those aren't blanks they're firing out there! Shut your mouth and fire back! On it! Captain On it! Bartlett, this is Thunderhead. You are violating direct orders. Shove it! I'm not gonna watch any more of my pilots die! Edge, I'm on you, son! I'm on you, son! You mind if I grab this kill? I will, you know. Go ahead. So those things right there, those little hashes, that's what my squadron mates are attacking. So I know kind of what they're after. And if I can help them or whatever. I think it's Damn. an amazing part of this game. Sucks, our own I don't even have time to be afraid. Looks like we can hold our own out here. You guys fly better than I thought. Don't let them get away. Aim straight. Hold your fire. My only regret is not being able to fly with a captain with a sunnier disposition. <laughs> oh, Chopper, you goober. I feel like I'm the only one being targeted. You talk too much, that's why. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I just did. I just killed that guy. Whoa, those guys are really mad 
now. Come on, come on, come around on him. Don't wait get too for my shot, and we hit this guy like that. Woo. No, I plan to. He's coming right at me. Get stretched. Oh my goodness. Mission accomplished. Hell yes. This is your captain. Can you hear my voice? Yeah. Good. Looks like we can all hear each other. You all alive? All right. Nice work, Nuggets. War Dog 4, you still following us? I mean, I am now. The fact that we all made it out of that battle alive. I'm going to let you keep your nickname. From now on, I'm going to call you Kid, no matter what. Got it? Good. Awesome. Thanks. I swear. <laughs> Chopper. Yeah, that's a quick one. That's a quick intro. Man, I enjoyed it. Okay. Press start to exit the replay. Emergency transmission from Central. Break ass! Woo-wee! Uh, to all Sand Island based personnel, all information regarding today's hostile encounter is to be classified. Captain Jack Bartlett is ordered to report to base headquarters immediately. Order E whatever, Ocean Defense Force Central Command. Hey, what? I'm getting achievements for the thing I love the most. The whole affair with the unidentified aircraft was covered up. There was even a rumor going around that it was actually a UFO. Officially, the world was still at peace. Having witnessed the battle myself, I wasn't allowed to leave the island. Why do they even bother reprimanding me anymore? I know I'm going to be stuck at Captain forever. Who do you think is covering up the battle? Listen, the only thing across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktabanian territory. But haven't we been allies with the Yukes since the war 15 years ago? Yeah. That's why we got people working their asses off trying to confirm what the hell's going on over there. I bet they've got hotlines ringing off the hook somewhere upstairs. The government doesn't want to get the public riled up with all this, you know? But it doesn't matter. Soldiers like us are too stupid to think for ourselves, so we just gotta keep our mouths shut when they tell us to. I feel kind of bad for you, actually. <laughs> it's all right. I get to be with you guys. Captain's probably hating this more than anybody. Hmm? He used to have a lady friend over in Yuktabania. Ah, uh, that's just an old war wound now. But very plot relevant. Yo! I'm so psyched to be back! I hope all of you are enjoying this as much as I am. I mean, the man's call sign is Heartbreak 1. Come on! That alone is just cool. I am ready. I am ready to keep this going. I will see you guys in the next mission. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! I love the time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC, what are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots! It's a production of broadcast. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You got it!